Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we have a service call for a two pipe fan coil unit. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumperman Tech. Today we have a service call for a two pipe fan coil unit and that is quite the view. All right, so we just dropped that color over there. They changed the fan motor, but for some reason, they have the wrong speeds. It's a good chance it is wired wrong. Okay, right now, the fan is on low speed, and it seems to be going high speed. Hold on a second. Let's go to medium. It's slowed down. Definitely slowed down. And what about high speed? Okay, so it looks like medium speed is correct, but low speed on the thermostat is going high, and then high speed on the thermostat, the motor is actually going low. Let's look into the diagrams. I'm gonna put this system on off. Okay. Let's look over here, we'll take a picture. Let's bring the light over real quick. Yeah. So if we look on top, so it says GL, GM, GH. Gs are gonna be our speeds. So let's see, red is low speed, blue is medium speed, brown is high speed. And hopefully that's the same as it goes into the unit. It's a possibility it can change. Next, what we're gonna do is look at the diagram on this motor. Then, let me see, I'm gonna take a picture so you guys can see. Red is low, blue is medium, black is high. And what do they wire here? This thing looks like a mess. All right, so according to this, low speed is red, blue is medium, black is high. Okay, low speed right here, red, bring, Chris, bring the light closer so we can see, red, you guys can see, is going into a different color here, it's going to be purple, blue, goes to blue, And black, no, brown, where's the brown wire? Brown goes to red. Let's take a picture of this so we'll write it down because we need to match that up in there. Okay, so coming from here, these wires is for the fan motor. Red, they have it connected to some red, which should have been the purple right for low speed blue blue to blue is good that's why medium speed works and then high speed is black on the motor they put it to purple here this is also why you call a professional look at this neutral wire look how they connected it with a piece of tape <laughs> and why would you mount this here we need to take this thing out the electrician was shoddy and the building quote unquote engineers did some shoddy work over here too. They changed the motor thinking that would change the problem, but I guess not my friend. I could probably just fix this at the thermostat, but because we definitely need to fix this neutral wire, I'm pretty sure this is a 120 volt motor. It is a 120 volt line voltage thermostat. You can't just tape wires together. I don't know why I see that so many times. Come on. That is horrible. That's together. Uh, snips and a wire nut. Right here. Okay. Power is off. Shorten that wire nut. Right here. Yes, sir. So that is correct. Needs to, it and that needs to be. They crossed up the high speed with the low speed. And that's 
with the wires here. I don't think they changed anything at the thermostat. So they don't know what they're doing. So let's let's open this up. That's what's happening here. Come on, man. That's why you gotta call the jumper, man. <laughs> All right, let's see. So from the motor, it's gonna be this one. And for some, that's gonna be low speed. Purple on the back of that thermostat. It changes color from red. I can see why they thought that. Someone somewhere at some time crossed it up. And then red is probably high speed. Let me just double check that. It's those two that got crossed up. It makes sense as to why you get one for the other. So red should be high speed and purple should be low speed. Red to purple low speed and then brown to red for high speed. So red. Red should be high speed and the black on the motor is high speed. Red on the motor is low speed and then purple on the thermostat is low speed. And that's what happened here. Cut this for a sec, cut this so it's not too long. Put these wire nuts back and that's what they crossed up. And watch this thing work now. All right, and that is that, my friends. Let's turn this power back on, put the thermostat back on its base. That's freaking ridiculous. And let's watch this. Christian, let's put the fan on low. Low? Okay. That's cool. You know what, we could even do, I can even show you guys using amps. Okay, so we're in low speed, we're pulling 0.4 amps. Hold up a sec. Let's keep it around the blue. Watching the speeds, I could should put on medium. All right, that's gonna be a bit of a higher speed for sure. And we got 0.9 amps now. And this is gonna be high. Nothing. Hold up, put on high speed. At a higher speed, you can hear the sound difference, and now we got 1.1 amps. So the speeds match up with the amperage. It's a big difference between low and medium. Not too much with low, with a medium and high, but there you go. You solved the problem. All right, Chris, let's turn off the fan. System off, fan. You can't just turn it off. You just have to put it on auto. So it only come on when the system's trying to cool. So that part is done. What I want to do is check these capacitors because I know a lot of times they use the old capacitor and those are rated for four microfarads. And right here, or maybe they're rated for five. I'm not sure. This one here, I need four microfarads. Let's make sure they got the right capacitor in here too because when you got taped up wires, man, you got to check everything, man. Let's see if I can get to that screw from up here. I took out the filter. A little bit rough to get in there, right there. Let's see if I can loosen that up. Oh, it's getting a little offset. I want to take off that strap to see what, what microfarads rating is this because a lot of times I see they're slightly off. Uh, all right, let's see if we get that off. I just loosen up this top screw and just pull this thing out. If you see it, let's see, what does it say? It is a three UF microfarad, right? Three microfarad capacitor. And this, comp and this motor is rated for four. This is such a small unit. I think that's why I had a little crossed up. So the bigger units have a four microfarad 
capacitor, but the new larger motors need five microfarads. So we're undersized here. We should go pick that up and replace it and get this unit back in order. Picked up the correct capacitor, four microfarads. Okay. Let's see. Power is off. This thing is real tight. Okay. Just to be a little safe. Shut that out. We're good to go. All right, guys, we are good to go. My camera lost the battery when I was changing that capacitor, but I have some photos and I'll show you guys. We got all the correct fan speeds now. Everything is good to go. I don't know why they mounted that switch on there. All the covers are on. And the filter looks a little dirty there, but it's, it's actually all right. So that's all, that's all she wrote, guys. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. And I'll catch you all next time.